Hello, <laughs> welcome back everyone to another day of D&D. &D. We are here with Alex, Alex, Evan, <laughs> it's Jonah, Jonah, and Hey! Okay, got an easy name. Alrighty, we're doing some role play action. Let's see where the adventure takes us. So who, I don't know how I don't know how this goes down. So I never played before. That was before. the perfect intro, honestly. All right, thank you. That, that was, was much better much better than intro. yeah. That much better than yeah. I, what can I say? I'm good at improvising. There you go. I'll intro real quick just so you, because you don't know. Yeah. We're playing kind of Harmon Quest style, so I roll the dice, and it's not very, it's pretty lax in the rules. Not real D and D. It's a butchered version of Fantasy Age, so <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, a lot of folks on role playing, getting character, playing character, mm -hmm. have fun. Long ago. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, kick off the adventure. Uh, all of you, for whatever reason, are traveling wayward to the village of Erd. Uh, Erd is going to be a provincial village, fairly secluded. Not a lot of people talk about it, not a lot of, not a lot of people have been there. Not a lot of trade goes in, not a lot of trade comes out. Kind so, of a mystery. Some people, there's some, some dastardly rumors about dastardly. ancient ancient horrors um, and, and evil people. Um, ancient when horrors. do I ask questions yes. about who lives there? Paper for uh, or do we not Jonah know? for some notes. Well, as soon as you meet people. I got oh. notes. Oh, yeah, oh, grab cool. some paper. I'll take the notes. Jonah, I got the notes. What does the no, exterior look like? Does it look the broke surface. down? Uh, you I'm haven't been there yet. Oh, oh yeah, you're, you're you introducing us. Boys. Yes, the scene. these are these are rumors of Erd. You guys are going to be traveling there for your character's own reasons. You can make up why you're going. Long lost relative, mystery to solve, treasure hunter. To find just, peace. Uh, just lost. However, <laughs> just lost. Stop. However you end up there, you're The name you're of the law. Wait, Hand over your stolen so goods! Or, 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 pay the, or pay the fine! You are! No, 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 it's you're a, about to meet. Or, or pay the court your fine! Ah, see, see, see. So who's, That's fine! Who's so, why won't here? you die?! You gotta make or, a main character. Uh, ooh, ooh. God, it's like an end of a test again. <laughs> Take me back. <laughs> so! I'll just play it in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, or, uh, Tale of the Two Wastelands. Many of you know that Erd is surrounded by a, a mountain range. It's kind of a valley. Okay, no. So, you do now. So, to get there, you have to travel through a fairly treacherous mountain pass. And at the How base treacherous? of the pass, fairly. Oh. And at the base of the pass is where villagers tend to kind of gather, or, or explorers tend to gather, set up a little base camp, and prepare for the journey ahead. I'm it, really is, like at, like, it is camp. at this base it's camp like, like that you like all the meet. Camp for yeah, yeah, it's like a base camp for a mountain. And this is where you all meet. So. Oh my god. So, who <laughs> is the first of the pass? The what now? Who's the first of the pass? Who? I don't know what that means. I'm on John a hunting, the Barbarian. I'm on a hunting trip. He is on a hunting trip, and he is the first to get to the pass to the mountain to go to the village of Erd. He is Whoa. just chilling, uh, set up the camp, and waits after his successful hunt. We don't know each other yet. You don't, none of you know each other yet. Okay. Sweet. Uh, next nice. to arrive, um, someone spots at the base of the pass a... Describe yourself. Um, <clears throat> five eight barbarian, stocky as fuck. What are you I'm, wearing? I'm ripped. I'm wearing a loincloth. Oh, okay. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm wearing a loincloth and I got a ponytail. <laughs> Some oh, and, nice. and a jacket. No pants. Wait, what kind but, of but jacket? But a jacket, like a like, like a, a big jacket? hide jacket. Okay. All right. Who um, who's gonna be our person to, to spot this barbarian? Who's I next to the party. All right, Alex. I'll be um. I would be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kind of keep this close to me a little bit. It'll okay. make it easier to kind of work with the character. Um, I'm gonna give me a six-two human, kind of bigger. Um, and I'm wearing like a kind of like medium grade armor. Like it's very light, but there's definitely some heavier pieces. All right. So coming out of the clearing from the Why forest is, armor? is our just kind of my garb. Our, wow. our mono adventure. Slightly armored, adventuring, uh, six-two bigger dude. And he approaches. I, I mean, I have. If you want a good description, I look very rustic, very like, very like, just my hair's in a mess because I'm just fishing pole on my back. All right. All right. You two can now meet. As can our new adventurers as they stream in. Who else oh, is yeah. going to be here? I'm not here. Dumbledore will be here. Stepping into the clearing is Dumbledore. A six. A a six. 
foot elf. Everyone's so tall. <laughs> well, I mean, he. he no, well, actually, tall you know what? Dumbledore is a five, <laughs> five foot four, four foot elf. <laughs> He's abnormally small for his age, oh, no. clocking in at uh, the good ripe age of what's twenty-two, oh. wearing some ruggish robes and some steel, random steel chest plates around his like uh, half, cotton armor. Half with. Dwarf. Well, no, he's not. Have, well, it's not. There are small not, elves. He, he, yeah, there are, are small elves. elves. He's a wood okay. elf. Okay, wood elf. I am a wood elf. Yeah, so, so, that, wood elf. so that's why it fucking works. I'm it's sorry. A, it's a very so I am a wood elf. elf. Yeah, you fucking racist. I'm sorry. I'm, we're already really on the. Bad. We haven't even met yet, and already feeling like, bad he vibes. Just comes up, he's like, he just <laughs> You're jumps. fucking short, dude. Dumbledore is displeased with your actions, sir. I I suggest you take a stand. I'm sorry. I thought elves were good at basketball. No, elves. We use magic. You ignorant. Troglodyte. Okay, Dave. Uh, <laughs> go get him, what else? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, Dumbledore <laughs> is wearing steel plates with loose fitting leather pants, so that way it increases his, ag his agility when climbing and moving and evading attacks. So. Excellent. Tell me real quick, what is uh, what is Dumbledore's eyesight and, and hearing? Where, how are his senses? Eyesight is 20-20. His He's senses... A perceptive man. He is a very perceptive man. He knows good will from bad just by an eye glance. Ooh. Oh, oh. He's, a, he's a people person. I love it. Yes. What about your eye glands? Well, not eye glands. From a glance of an eye. Oh. So, so like, a quick glands. look. I didn't mean to say <laughs> it. Like, I didn't mean to say it like that. When I like, look into your eye glands, I can see what's So, like just, you know, um, in the game, if any time you want to observe something or look for something, mm -hmm. tell me and I'll do it for you. Okay. So Otherwise, there's a anything. passive one that just goes if there's something noticeable. You'll be the first to pick up on people's motives. Word. You, that's, what I, that's what I was looking for. Yep. Dumbledore has always been more of uh, an assertive guy, someone who's always aware of his surroundings. Mm -hmm. Since the, uh, since some of you know about the actions that's happened, the trials and tribulations of living mm -hmm. after a small village was burned down. So, All right. Trials and tribulations. Okay, so of my, living. Yeah. my right. backstory. Are we doing this now? You are meeting for the first time. Okay. You can, if Hello, you wanna, sir. If you want to launch into backstory upon immediately okay. meeting a person, you do you. <laughs> That's how I like well, to start every conversation. How about let's just set it up where like we're just I'm sitting around at this base pass. camp. It's like the end of the night. We uh we just had that moment of being a dick and me laughing. Yeah, let's just add that time. already in there. Just you being no. racist as fuck to me <laughs> no, because yeah, I'm a small like, wood elf. No, yeah, because I was like, are you half dwarf or something? Like, no, no. I like the, the idea fuck? of him being like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm Step really down, no, no, And then I'll be like, hey, 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 hey. Like, I walk I was... up with two, like, I walk up with like a big, like a, whatever you call it, a satchel. Or not satchel, like a water jug. It's just full of liquor. And I just like. So up. you tend to the meads, huh? Yeah. I, I shall take a drink. Yeah, like, that's how we start drinking to that. our lives. And then, uh, I mean, if Evan wants to just show up. It's a tad bit cold. Yeah, shall we start a bottle? Evan's going to show up in a bit. I'm a hermit. Right. So, All right. so yeah, we're just sitting around no, kind of drinking. Talking, I'm like, yeah. I, I got kicked out of my barbarian tribe because, like, I like to whittle too much. Dumbledore was silently in is the that background, a euphemism? pondering on. <laughs> no, I just like to whittle. The the life you once lived. The they wanted me to marry, but all I could do was whittle. You know, and like, and then I was like, yeah, like I wasn't really down with like the killing the children and raping the children, that kind of thing. Dumbledore flips away in disgust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I uh, I'm I'm from a uh, fishing village. Down by the coast, of course. Where else would it be? Mm. And uh, I, I just, I kind of just started going on a trip. I, I found out my father was not a fisherman, but a pirate. <laughs> mm. I was gonna say diddler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a diddler. Each other is a Hey, they so found their booty. Now I'm questioning my entire existence as a. I am casually in my vision. I'm not a. I'm, everyone's a fisher in my village, but I'm work a lot with metal and creating things. Mm. So, uh, wouldn't you say that you're like kind of like a blacksmith? Yeah, it's more like kind of it's a metal worker. It's, metal metal, it's okay. more like generalized, but I I do like. Oh, so that goes between anything like making fishing rods. Yeah, I, I can make tools, but yeah. I I have made my own weapons and stuff, or I can fix them if I need to. As you can see, I have like a couple pistols on me. And you're just like, oh, those are rare. 
We have pistols? No, uh, they, they're very, very rare, like, don't work very well. Kind of oh, the flint Yeah. Six, 16th century. Is there yeah, anything no, else no, no. that predates no, I got like, a magnum, locks? I just pull out like, a desert eagle, just like, look at this. Sure, yeah. it, old, old guns. There's old like, what, what about those, like, Chinese yeah. cannons? Those work too. So they're like, they're like, oh, like sticks. Over there. Uh, yeah, 16th yeah. century yeah. and Zach is, is all fair game in this game. Okay. Technology wise. A fog falls upon the base camp. Effects, please. <laughs> As oh yes. Just a joke about Dexter's yes. base No one perfect. Can I uh, that works for me. <laughs> a fog falls upon the base camp. Um, it is late in the night. You all should probably get some rest. Uh, unless I don't know if any of you are like insomniacs, but other than that, uh, you have a long journey ahead of you. The mountain pass yeah. takes about a full day to cross, which is why people usually rest up the night before. Dumbledore often enjoys the silence of, of the wind blowing between the grass. No, right. and I don't trust you guys. Am right? I painting a picture here? I'm what sleeping you... lightly. <laughs> sleeping lightly. Okay. Would anyone else like, like how to light sleep? Are you almost floating? Like like like, <laughs> like 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 one eye open. I'm like yeah. I'm the, I'm a similar way. I'm very untrusting. I guess we're all like that. Yeah, we're all we're all, <laughs> we're all from, we know like, what like, mean. like either like shits happen that we're here for a fucking reason. Yeah. We we don't trust oh, you yeah. anybody. I'm trying to know the story behind why you guys got in a camp together now. Cause like, I don't know, we, we made a camp. Sleep together. No, we made a camp. They, so you we, have to make a camp at the base of the mountain. It takes a full day to travel the course yeah, of the mountain. So, be like, so, so, so if you arrive course. midday, yeah. you don't want to travel at night yeah. on the pass. Yeah. So, you so they're, they're, they're like campsites. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said. Yeah. That's why yeah. I was over here saying. I thought we made our own campsite, so we just gathered some wood. No, like we did, but it's like there's like a bigger campsite. It's almost like a very small town. Oh, okay. Like very small. I thought we we haven't reached the town yet. No, no, it's like it's like a it's like um it's a tent village. It was abandoned when you were there. Okay. That that's a little bit clearer because. I thought that we just met there. on the path and we were just like, hey, I like you, you like me, let's just make a campfire. No, we, we, we kind of haven't decided to liquor. even like, start traveling together. You're, You're all waiting for the cool morning <laughs> air to refresh and revitalize you as you awake. Um, one of you can start a fire if anyone has food. You might want to cook for the group yourself. Um, and oh, you yeah, whenever some, you're ready. Like fish and stuff, of course. Mm -hmm. Double dole for a build a fire. There you go. Whenever you're ready, uh, you can set out together on the pass, or separately if you're that, that distrusting. The only issue being it's a narrow pass, and you don't have a lot of time. Daylight is always free. As many options as I don't have, don't, I shall travel with you guys, if you yeah, shall have fine. me. I trust you guys enough. I'll travel with you guys, but I'm staying in the back. Just, just until we get to the village, and then we can see what, what riches lies beyond. Jonah mentions a very interesting point, which was that he said he's in the back. What is your traveling order as you go down the pass? Um, I am a... I'll be middle. I'm a bigger... Yeah, I'm the, I'm the brute force, I guess. Yeah. All right. Like, I'm not. I'm kind of medium. You're but, top. Yeah. I'm top bottom. He's middle. Yeah, well, I mean, you always have to have a good power bottom. <laughs> Dude, there, has, I am, there has to be a good power, power bottom, bottom, and there has to good be, be a good power top. So we have Orexu, followed by Dumbledore, followed by well, Jonah. I need also come up with the last thing. My last name will be a mystery, even though it doesn't fucking matter, but... Perfect. I can look up just some cool name that means fisherman. Name. So, <laughs> I don't, I, that's, all, that's all I want. Alright. So, assuming you guys set out on the pass to the mountain, um, it starts fairly winding. There are big cliff faces on both sides, but as you get through the mountain pass, the cliff face on your right kind of drops into a really low ravine and a foggy mist covers just treetops you can see at the bottom. The plummet looks to be about 100 feet, plus whatever the height of those trees are. Is there any, like, hills around, or is there, can we climb down the mountain? Is it like a valley? It is like a valley. I was imagining I a valley. I totally spaced out. What's happening? So we're on the Our edge, thing. and then we just see, like, yeah, we see a valley not covered nothing but fog, and all we see is, like, the treetops. Fog and stuff. trees, you're on a very narrow path about the width of, like, uh, an ox cart, or, like, a, a car, for a more modern analogy. And then, um, the cliff face on your what, left, you can reach car? out and touch it. You mean so, a cart? Yeah, so you can walk along, uh, oh, hugging this wall. So it's then, not too bad, we have a decent, oh, okay amount of There's, there's no real risk of you slipping and falling, but at the same time, uh, it's, it's uncomfortable for Also, it's not, it's not, like, a straight drop down. Not super straight, but it's, it's certainly not a comfortable drop. Uh, definitely dangerous enough that you wouldn't want to scale it without like equipment or rope or climbing anything. Like or a, analyzing it. A good 80% grade. Like, sure, yeah. We'll, we'll say... It's not... If, so if this is... If this is 90, then that would be like 80. Yes. You're 80. What's this pass called? 
Uh, this is the pass to Erd. It's called Erd Pass. The Erdic Pass. The Erdic Pass. So, uh, as you guys travel, um, it takes about half a day. Um, the reason not being that it's that long is just <coughs> treacherous. You have to watch your footing. You have to constantly be sure that you're being safe. Um, particularly the fact that you have uh, a six foot larger man in the front of the party isn't helping as far as speed goes because he's not the fastest, I assume. But um, as you travel, you all start to smell this kind of rank, horrible stench, like a like a like a really just kind of grotesque, lived-in uh, musky scent. Ooh, and in the side of the danger. pass, there's a, a a slight crevice, a slight uh, kind of curve into a, what looks like it could be a cave. Do we adventure, guys? And you hear you smell this smell uh, emanating, and from within the cave. Uh, certain someone's going to uh, hear f- a group of footsteps approaching. Okay. Right. I let out a large battle cry and unsheath my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Upon smelling uh, gross, you you decide <laughs> the appropriate time is nigh for battle. You draw your axe and bellow your battle cry, which is ah. <laughs> <laughs> Traditional. <laughs> uh, Rorig, you hear ah <laughs> emanating from outside your cave. I ready my sword and shield for the oncoming battle. All right. Um, assuming you both wait, whoever wants to take initiative has it. Initiative to go in. <laughs> to go into the cave. Dumbledore would take the initiative to go in. Dumbledore readies his bow and arrow. I will point out that the path does also continue past the cave. It's this isn't the end. Well, the... I, I, I would I would imagine that we can just leave him and be like fuck this guy. You could and just keep yeah. walking. But then I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be, be around, like hey I'm guys, gonna be the rash- I'm in front. I'm gonna be rational and be like hey, who's in there? I sprint into the cave. I, I was going shoot. into the cave. I, I went into the cave first. Okay. Dumbledore, I roll I to, to sneak around Alex, who's in front, without losing your footing. Mm-hmm. You do it. Yes! Okay. So I sprint yes. into the cage, and well, I shoot. Roll for Jonah! Okay, and then I how shoot. How do you, how, do you go wall side, or do you try to cut around Alex? I shoulder check him. Alex, what do you do? I, uh, push him against the wall. Just Ooh. trap him there. Well, you're trapping this kid or him? I'm just... Alex, you've pinned the barbarian. Oh my god. And I'm gonna use... I mean, I'm gonna say, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Are you cool? Well, you're holding the barbarian. Dumbledore has sprinted into the cave. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick look around as the awful smell goes into my nose. The putrid, horrid smell makes my skin crawl. It also goes into your eyes yeah. as a, a visible haze kind of I stunts your vision. Yeah, I, can't, like, I can barely see. Everything's so blurry. It's like walking into a room full of cutting onions. Why can't I see? <laughs> this this hurts. <laughs> it's blinding. Rounding the corner with incredible speed, clutching his bow is a, a nimble elf. Who goes there? What do you want, elf? I, I want... seek you no harm. This your cave. This is my cave. What? My home, Why? I would say. Why live in a cave? Because I don't want to be around the people of this land. I battle cry again and try to free myself from Alex. I let him go. There is no trouble here. Oh, you break here. free! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Charging I... into the cave behind him is a, a six foot something barbarian man. No, no, no. Five eight. Five eight. I'm a stocky. You haven't. Average height is barbarian man. They're seeing when they run to the cave. When you run to the cave, orc. you see um, a a. Shadowy figure. He's he's cloaked in the darkness, and, and you can hear his gravelly voice. You can't immediately identify uh, his his race or height or stature, but the scent tells you that the cave is very lived in. You can see uh, the pickings of bones sprout sp- around. Chicken bones, not like humans, just like normal food. I would be cool if regular humans, food. just regular Some food. Chip bags on the corner. Moldy bread. Die, foul, uh, foul beast. I'm gonna come in behind axe. him and take his axe from him. <laughs> I push, I push him down in a, to show that we aren't monsters. In a silent movie-esque fashion, upon raising your axe, it's immediately taken from your hands, <laughs> causing you to stumble forward and swing at nothing before being pushed to the ground by a tiny elf. <laughs> the barbarian now lays bare at your feet. It's your action. What, what do you travelers seek from me? We seek company. 
We we have we're going to the la- the village of the, Erd. The village of Erd, and we found this cave. And who are you, Orc? I do not. Mainly, why? I do not trust this Orc. Why would you bring him? You don't in know he's an Orc yet. <laughs> we we can't see him in the darkness. Oh, okay. Here. Why why live in this cave away who, from the people? Wh- why are you here? I seek not to be with the people of these lands, for I am. Racist. (laughs) 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 For I do not wish to be with the people of these lands, for I am racist. No, they're racist towards me. Oh, okay. Do you know this landscape? I know very well of these these treacherous valley valley glitches. Could you 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 guide guide us? I get up to the village of Ud, good sir. Why would I have a reason to do that? All you've done is come in here and try to attack me. We have heard that there's been good riches and fables coming from that place. I We're seek very no curious. Rich. I live in a cave, I seek no riches. <laughs> but we are looking for adventure and was wondering if you would come with us. Show us these lands and they're free to go back to your cave if you wish. We just need some guidance. We mean you no harm. We're not like the others you have met in your time. Dumbledore here is just on his way looking for coin. <laughs> An honorable Unlike quest. Unlike my greedy friend here, I seek to change greed. this world. <laughs> I will let you know, Dumbledore is anything but greedy. I, I walk I have helped shamefully to my axe and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I shall lead you through the cliff sides, but no further. Fair enough. Dumbledore is pleased with your actions. Dumbledore commands this. And with that, <laughs> stepping out of the shadows, it's revealed that this figure is... This figure is a seven foot five orc. Wow, you ugly. <laughs> That's rude. Is that how you would call me ugly? Just kidding. We love you. He is Be an... forewarned, tall man. He is a... <laughs> I do not take kindly to betrayers. And... He is an elderly orc. He has a very grown-in, dwarven-esque beard. He has very long, braided hair, much like Joan Anne's. Mm. And it's all gray. He's like a gray fox. So he's hot. Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. Are you, are you gay? Not no. today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Picking up your new companion, you all are able to continue through the pass. Give him... my armor. He puts on his, uh... I put on my <laughs> rusted orc armor that I only have the chest piece and the left arm of. The left go. arm armor. Continuing back. through the pass, you have your so new I'm in the lead. trusty guide in the lead, Rorig. Now, his knowledge of the area is able to gracefully get you through these mountain passes. In fact, he takes you down a little-known secret that only the villagers of Erd were able to traverse. Uh, slinking up one of the steep cliffs, given some footholds, you're able to adapt to this new path that leads to a different part of the mountains. Um, as you travel, the fog densens until you can barely see, like, more than 20 yards in front of you, and that distance keeps shrinking as it, it seems to close in and surround you. Um, barely able to push through the haze, you eventually hear this, this little horrible squeaking, this, like... Is that your armor? No. It is not. You hear it coming from a few yards in front of you. The pass here is wide enough that you could take a defensive uh, stance with two of you uh, shoulder to shoulder and not really risk one of you falling off the edge. But the edge of the cliff is still very much present and is, if anything, steeper now. Dumbledore draws his bow. I mean, if... There'd be danger afoot. I told Jonan to come next to me and stand next to me inside the mountain and I'll be on the outside. That's fine. I'll be, I'll be my feet. I have more, more steady footage. I draw my battle axe. Who who goes there? <coughs> and you see a a hunchback and frail old woman pulling behind her a, a small wheelbarrow cart, the squeaky wheel turning and clinking as it travels through the rocks, and slightly to her right, hugging the face of the the cliff. You see a, a fairly tall, probably about six foot man. Uh, on tall. his on his waist, he has uh, what looks to be an improvised sword made from the blade of a farmer's scythe, and they're dressed in peasant rags. He uh, he approaches you kind of uncomfortably, 
and and he just says, um, we need to pass. You'll have to go back. You need to get this cart through. So we're guiding a cart through this horse? No, no, no. So I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Oh, we were oh, so, oh, so they're like, what the fuck are they doing? Yeah, yeah. type of thing. They're telling, they, okay. they, 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 he proposes, you, you'll need to travel back with us. Uh, I'm sorry, it's about half a day's journey to the other side of the pass, and then you may go through. But we need to get this cart through, so. I uh, say, well, I'm going to be a fair question to me. Anything in for us? We are but poor, simple peasants. We have nothing for you. Look, the peasants just, through. Do you have coin? Well. We just seek to pass. We will be... We do not have I, I will vote. Might, might we climb over the cart, fair peasants? Where what? Is your cart taking up the entire road? What lies yep. within the cart? That is my business. And then he looks to you after asking, can they cross it? And he kind of looks at the cart and eyes it suspiciously. He's like, I'd prefer you didn't. To travel back to the pass, I'm sorry. I can't compensate. Can I use my perception of just roadside etiquette to maybe understand, like maybe I can That's comprehend the shape and give a rough estimate of what it could be. Go for it. Okay, so you are unable to identify the, the lumpy and misshapen bumps inside the carts. You can tell that propped up to one of the sides looks to be a wrapped canvas, maybe a painting of some kind. Oh shit. Can um, Dumbledore use his perception? Yes. Since it's 10, 20, 20? Yes, uh, you're able to see that parts of the uh, canvas bag draping the cart uh, seem to be stained red, either with, with paint or, or dried blood. I was going to say blood. Through. I had a feeling that they were escorting bodies through. It's so they're probably coming... Beat farmers. I and, didn't uh, say they're beat farmers. They're fucking murderers. Is that blood... Is that blood on those cloths? On this canvas? It is not. Oh. Let us let us through. I yes. draw my axe. Identify the lumpy bumps, peasant. <laughs> they are just Jonah, there is no need to harm these peasants. Just my let traveling goods. You, uh, Rorik, with your astute sense of smell, are able to pick up the scent of death, which you are oh so familiar with. How is it not blood then? That was the peasant talking. I Oh, they can I... lie. Well, yeah. Sorry. But my good. I knew they were fucking lying. That's true. I'm sorry. Sense motive. You can tell that he's very nervous and uncomfortable. I even said that. Well, he doesn't seem. Well, he doesn't seem uh, malicious. He is. He is. Is there anything else I can point out? Like. Is there anything else I can point out? Like, is maybe he's like shaking a little bit since he's all stirred. Yes. Um, And you can see that the uh, frail woman pulling the cart. Under her hood, uh, you can make out that there's faint sob. <clears throat> Maybe they're not murderers. I, I, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna threaten him, and I'm no, going to say, "That's what I was." Listen, doing. peasant, I know the smell of death very well. What is underneath, with, or what is in your car? With you, it makes sense. What are the so, lumpy bumps? I mean, he, 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 he draws his blade, uh, and not, not into attack, but just like sternly and intimidatingly, and he says. She's my daughter, I'll bury her how I wish. What happened to your daughter? Yellow fever. Is that... Where, where do you come from? I come from Erd. You come from Erd? Yes. That's where we're heading right now. That would make sense, as this is the mountain pass yeah, to I mean, I, Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Why, why do you wish to bury is... your daughter away from Erd? Because those... God... Damn necromancers! And I'll be damned if they tell me where to bury my kin. Are they giving you trouble yes. in the village? The village has been torn apart. The, the necromants and necromancers are at a feud, and I will have none of it. I seek only the quiet hillside for my family. What is the hillside mean? I shall let you pass. Any of the foothills outside of the village. I'm simply traveling away. No, no, no. I do I'm, not no. know where I go. I'm, like, I'm asking, like, perception. Like, oh. What, what's the hillside made out of? Oh, um. Granite. Granite, uh, rock. Oh, damn. Okay. <coughs> Shale. What? That has to be a lot. If, 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 from what. If that cart is as big as I'm, I imagine it is, there has to be a lot of fucking bodies in there. Oh, it's not that big. Oh. It's, it's, it's just the fact that it's got other shit in it. Oh, okay. and body. It's got just 
You can see a, a pile of nails, maybe just generic things that a villager would take from their home if they're gonna leave. Okay. Is it? I say, I say we let them pass. Let them pass. Yeah. But is there any more? Is there any way we can perhaps go around you before you pass? Can we also need a little bit more? We Perhaps were, crawling underneath the car. Yeah, we were concerned you would find our the body and react rashly, but I appreciate that you understand. You can pass the cart as you would. Sweet. Can I ask more questions about Erd? What would you like to know, Traveler? Tell me a little bit more about the town. It was a fairly normal town, so the legend goes, before the necromancers came in and, and cocked everything up. When did the necromancers come in? How Gener- long ago? Generations before Generations? Me. Yes. How many? They've been warring for a long time. There are two necromancers that war for the town, and there's the accursed one who took my daughter with his, with his plague. What do you know about the accursed one? We call him Nasu. He is a dark energy that resides in the tower on the far north of the town. It's just pure evil. It arrives at night to kill and take the sick and weak. That's how my daughter passed. What was his name? But there, there are wares. There are wares to buy and meat to drink. Yes. Thank God you're keeping notes of this. There, there are better, better wares and better meat elsewhere. But if you're a collector of fine art, Erd is the best place to go. Do you know what made him do the things he's done? Who's he in this scenario? Nasu? Nasu is no he, it's an it. It's a dark energy. It's a deity. It, it appeared just to, to wreak havoc and, and take our children and old from us. And that's been there for centuries. It preys on all the weak, yes. Only those who are strong of will and body can survive. It comes every night. How many people are still living in the town? Some, some few thousand. Few thousand? The town, the town is is fine, other than the the dark energy. <laughs> other yeah. than the the nightly taking of our life, <laughs> of, our our kin. of our daughters <laughs> and <laughs> fucking. It takes the weak, and Erd is a town of strong. It is, if anything, Nasu has has shaped us in that way, as morbid as that sounds. Yeah, except for your daughter, there. Hey, yes. <clears throat> don't don't. Except for her. Don't be rude. Okay, oh he's God. he's in mourning right now. <laughs> Dumbledore is displeased with your actions. Uh, with that, I think we'll take our leave. Yeah. We, All right. I thank you, kind peasants. Of course. I pull out a sack and hand them a handful of seeds. Oh. And say, oh, start oh. your start your new farm with this. Dumbledore gives coin. Thank you, giant. I, I, in the time we we've been speaking, <laughs> in the time we've been speaking, I've I've willed. Female figure. I'm just nervously whittling in the back. <laughs> just, come on, stop fucking talking. I want to get there already. <laughs> right. That's actually that's, why I got kicked out because you just be at a big meeting and you're just like. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, the man turns and says, uh, "Come, Marjorie, let us go." And they they Safe cart around. You're able to slip around the cart. Once you slip past it, you can smell a definite waft of, of decomposing body. Sorry so about realize tears. why they were so. Dumbledore tears because he knows the pain. Sorry about pain. your dead kid. <laughs> My kid, Dumbledore that, is starting to fucking hate you. And with that <laughs> final cry, they disappear back into the mist. <laughs> You can hear the woman's sobs echoing. You're here. such a dude. You are such a horrid person. It is the barbarian way. <laughs> I killed my daughter. <laughs> no, excuse me. I killed two of my sisters before the age of two. Dumbledore <laughs> drops his jaw and turns away and keeps walking. It is the barbarian way. Stop <sighs> talking to me. I'm just standing in front, just kind of eating a bag Leave of uh, dried fish. <laughs> I'm continuing to lead the way. Displeased with the the squabbles of killing one's family. What is your character name again? Rorik. Rorik. It wasn't I like a question. hostile thing. We just had the hunger games. What do you want, Dumbledore? Each other. How long have you lived in that thing? I've lived in there for ten years at least. What were you before? I was a general. Or not general. I was a war chief. Where? That's all I said. That's all I'm gonna say. I was a war chief. Dumbledore is sorry if he crossed bounds. It's okay, Dumbledore. Let's continue. All right. Continuing down the mountain pass, you come to the uh, the opening of the Great Valley, 
the fog seems to clear almost immediately, as if by, by magic. And as you enter, you can see that there's a, a dense woods, but in the center of this valley, there's a great clearing where you see the town of Erd. Um, the architecture seems to be uh, highly refined. Marble, uh, great statues, fountains. It looks beautiful from a distance. And there are three very distinct structures that immediately catch your eye. Uh, on the east side of the town, you can see there is what appears to be the base of a pyramid that is not completed, as if it was being built and half of the construction uh, the builders gave up. Where is this? The east side of the town. So the town's in the center and there's three structures. So you're coming in from the south. One side you have your pyramid. On the other side, there is a great pit. It seems to just descend into depths that you cannot see. Uh, the surrounding of the pit is marred with wooden scaffolding. It looks like a, almost an abandoned mine of some kind. And then on the far north side, there is a, a dark tower that appears almost impractically wide, like a, like a little plateau. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very tall, so it's more of like a really just cylindrical fat building. But uh, it, it looks incomplete, but you can't imagine what it would look like if someone built more. It's just so unwieldy huge, and, and clearly took more resources than what were available in that the, the pits, the mines. Look, and there's that tower he was talking about. Where is the pit? Uh, pit is on the west side. So, pyramid. So you're coming up. How deep is the pit? And yeah, where is the tower? Pit, pyramid, tower. So, so I feel like so those two... North. Yep. So those statues basically is like north, east, south, and west. I'm mean, gonna use my yeah. perception to kind of guess the age of these things. All right. Uh, looking at the marble construction of the, yeah, I should roll for that. Are you? Uh, tell me about your background in architecture. Well, it's not architecture; it's just a background of materials. You can no, understand no. the. It's, you can see the how grass is growing on the side of them, or what, what materials are made out of. Does it look like it's actually from this area? You are unfortunately worker, not able to glean from. anything from this distance, but you uh, think if you're able to get closer, you could get a better look at things. Is there any relevance to this to those towers? Like there would be like factions. Or... Other than they exist, they're just there. This is what you see. It's mm. Half. Uh, can I use half intelligence? Half built pyramid, half built giant tower, big pit. You can absolutely use intelligence. What would you try to glean? That they're. Might be slaves or just listening to his every word and just making them build and do whatever. Um, that would be my only thing. Yeah, as you look from this distance, you can see that there's no one currently working on like the pyramid or the tower. So it doesn't appear to be built by a current group of slaves or, or anyone. You can't but see but it. was. Like how, was? how it looks. How it looks. Yeah. How do you know I, if something looks okay, slave just, built? <laughs> you know. It looks to have been built as a labor of love. <laughs> meaning either the slaves were very well Okay, driven, okay, let's continue. Or the builders okay. are just passionate Dumbledore about said job. a stupid thing and now he feels <laughs> dumb. Jonan is bored. To the tavern I go. <laughs> so people on the street? You are still coming out of the past, so you have a ways to go until you hit the streets of the town. Um, night is about to fall, seeing oh, as... Oh, the in the town already. That's no, what I sorry. Asked. Uh, yeah, night is about to fall, seeing as it takes about a full day to travel through the pass. So you should, uh, seek, seek lodging fairly soon. <laughs> I didn't hear that, so I'll, I'll let it be. Um, yeah, who wants to start setting out towards the town? You have a little... From the pass, you can see there's a little ways of woods, but the clearing is pretty soon. You're not too far from the town. Dumbledore will. All right, you're gonna set out. Are you gonna go for the surrounding woods or just straight into town? I'm gonna go straight into town. Perfect. Dumbledore sees his uh, his target. He shall go to it. Who follows? John Ann runs I'm gonna fall by to the tavern. To the tavern. His, I trip his thirst. His the thirst for me is growing stronger. I trip him. Uh, yeah, can me trip him. You're tripping him. <laughs> you fail to trip the giant barbarian strides. <laughs> Stop my fucking ankle. John Ann sees what you tried to do and scowls. 